In this video, I'm going to take a look at a big change to the way the DJI Mavic Air 2 turns in flight. Yep, that's right. I said how it actually turns in flight. I know this might seem like a strange subject to make a video on, but a rather small, almost unnoticeable change in recent firmware has had a big influence in the Mavic Air 2's flight characteristics. I created this short video to hopefully highlight the before and after differences in the Mavic Air 2's flight characteristics. I call this the Mavic Air 2's new turning science. If you're curious about these changes, then you've come to the right place. By the way, I want to say thank you to all of you for subscribing to my channel. My goal is to create high quality, thoughtful, informative, and entertaining content. If you find this video or any of my content helpful or entertaining, I encourage you to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe and notification icons so you can get notified when I upload new content. And hey, if at all possible, stay to the end of this video. In any case, I appreciate you being here right now. After the most recent firmware was introduced, you may have noticed that your Mavic Air 2's flight characteristics have changed, and it might have even seemed like something was wrong with your drone. I've noticed that this change seems to have made some Mavic Air 2 pilots a little confused or even concerned when flying, especially right after the new firmware was installed, which is completely understandable. Well, most likely, nothing at all is wrong with your Mavic Air 2. It's just that its flight characteristics have gotten a recent overhaul. And by the way, this change was introduced with the new firmware that was released for the Mavic Air 2 on August 10, 2020. The firmware version was 1.00.0340. And just for reference, the DJI Fly app was also updated around the same time to version 1.1.6. In terms of the Mavic Air 2's flight characteristics, I couldn't find anywhere in the DJI published material relating to the August 10, 2020 firmware release where it mentions this new change. Initially, I just assumed that it came as part of the, quote, optimized FPV mode for gimbal, unquote, change in the August 10, 2020 firmware. Whether this is correct or not, I actually don't know. I also look back at all of DJI's firmware release notes going back to its initial release in April 2020, and I couldn't find any reference to the specific changes there either. In order to demonstrate the changes to the Mavic Air 2's flight characteristics, I put all three of the current Mavics in the air, the Mini, the 2 Pro, and the Air 2, and compared their flight characteristics against each other. I can't refer back to a previous firmware to demonstrate the old flight characteristics of the Mavic Air 2, but I can compare it to the other Mavics since these three drones used to have the same flight characteristics. This new flight characteristic is the same whether you're in follow mode or FPV mode in the DJI Fly app. And in case you're wondering, there does not appear to be a switch anywhere in the DJI Fly app that turns this on or off. Let's take a look at these flights, starting with the Mavic Mini. And while you're watching these upcoming three flights, please keep in mind that I did the best I could to keep the drone within view of the camera. But it was pretty difficult, especially with the Mavic 2 Pro because of its speed, large size, and large turning radius. With the Mavic Air 2, on the other hand, because of its new, tighter turning radius, it was much easier to keep it within view of the camera. Okay, we're demonstrating the Mavic Mini turning function with just the left stick to control the left and right turning. The right stick we're using forward and backward flight. And as you can see, the turning is a skidding turn. The only way to make it turn in a banking turn is to use both sticks together at the same time. So you probably heard me refer to a skidding turn and a coordinated turn. A skidding turn is the characteristic of the drone to turn only or primarily around its vertical axis, also referred to as yaw. A coordinated turn is the characteristic of the drone to turn around its vertical and longitudinal axis, or yawing and banking, into the turn. Generally speaking, in real fixed-wing aircraft, and for the most part in a rotocraft, a coordinated turn is the most desirable type of turn because, one, it's more comfortable for the occupants, and two, it minimizes the drag force on the aircraft. Okay, let's take a look at the Mavic 2 Pro.
Okay, we're demonstrating the Mavic 2 Pro turning function. Again, just using the left stick to control the uh, turning, left and right turning. Mavic 2 Pro, of course, has got much larger turning radius than the Mavic Mini. But using the left stick to turn and the right stick to give us forward and rear flight, you can see that it's just giving us that skidding turn only and not the coordinated banking turn. And this again is the kind of the quote unquote traditional way of turning. And if we did want to make that coordinated banking turn, we would have to use left and right stick together in a coordinated fashion. Like that. And by doing so, it gives us a lot tighter turning radius. And then going back to the uh, normal style of turning, using the left stick to control left and right directional control only, it's going to give us again that skidding turn. I flew all three drones in sport mode intentionally to demonstrate how the Mavic Mini and the 2 Pro have a large turning radius. And I have to admit that it was pretty hard to talk and fly the Mavic 2 Pro in sport mode and still keep it within view of the camera because of its speed and large turning radius. Okay, now for the final flight. The Mavic Air 2 with its new firmware and its new turning science. But first, in case there are some of you out there that are curious, let me take just a minute and talk about the fixed wing mode that was a flight mode option on the original DJI Mavic Pro. I think there may be some Mavic Air 2 owners that wonder if this new turning characteristics bears any similarity to the fixed wing mode of the Mavic Pro. In my opinion, fixed wing mode is a completely different feature that has nothing to do with the Mavic Air 2's new flight characteristics. But just for the sake of discussion, let's review it briefly. I borrowed a clip from Ed Ricker's awesome Mavic Pro fixed wing mode video. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Fixed wing mode is a separate flight mode that must be initiated by the pilot in the DJI GO app. You must have forward flight speed in order to activate the mode. Pressing right and left on either stick makes the drone turn with a bank. The gimbal is locked with the drone. Moving the left stick forward and back makes the drone climb and descend, much like an aircraft climbs and descend, not the vertical climb and descent that we're all used to with our drones. And finally, pulling back on the right stick will cause the drone to exit fixed wing mode. Thank you, Ed, for that great video. Take off. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate the turning function of the Mavic Air 2. And this is after the firmware update that was released in August of 2020, which was the 1.00.0340 firmware and this new release allows us to turn the drone much tighter actually much easier too with just the left stick using the left stick left and right and the, the right stick we're using just to give us forward and reverse flight so you can see how much tighter the turn is without that skidding turn. Now if I just, if I'm stationary and use the left and right movement of the left stick, then it gives us just the yawing movement, not the banking movement. But if I have forward momentum or rearward momentum and then use the left stick, then I'm gonna get that smooth coordinated banking turn, which is more like a real fixed wing aircraft and more like what I'm used to flying fixed wing aircraft. Now some aren't going to like this and some will. Maybe just a matter of getting used to it. I 
tend to prefer it just because it gives me smoother turns, quicker turns. It would actually be nice to have an option to flip a switch on the controller on the app and go back to the previous way of turning. And who knows, maybe that'll be in the future for a, for a future firmware update. Yeah, much easier to make tight turns with a Mavic Air 2 and keep it within view of the camera, even in sport mode. This thing really makes tight turns now. The other nice thing is that to make these tight turns, coordinated turns, the pilot only needs to move the right stick, not both sticks like we did before, or like we still do with the Mavic Mini and the Mavic 2 Pro. So what do you think about the Mavic Air 2's new turning science? For me, I think it's a good change, for the most part. I like the ability to make sharper turns even in sport mode. An argument could even be made that the drone uses less battery power during flight because of the bank turns being more efficient. That's probably not the case, but it's something to think about anyway. The only change I think DJI could make is giving us the option in the DJI Fly app to revert back to the old turning characteristic if desired. Who knows, maybe that'll be in a future firmware update. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you made it this far, thank you for staying. Also, remember to hit like and subscribe on your way out, and I look forward to seeing you here again soon.